inshallah in today class we are going to continue with in finite series the next method dlm burst ratio test dlm burst ratio test in short we can say it as a only ratio test so let me know the conditions we have to find limit n tends to, n tends to infinity un plus 1 by un if its value is less than 1 we say the series is convergent if its value is greater than 1 we say the series is divergent and if its value equals to 1 test fails and if its value is equals to 1 we say test fail if the test fails we have to go to the previous method comparison test or any other test and also there is one more test rabies test we will discuss that afterwards rabies test inshallah we will discuss in the next class so if the test fails either we have to go to the previous method comparison test or p test or the rabies test or some other test so let me start now once more uh, revise this one less than one convergent greater than one divergent equals to one test fail so let me start with one question see one question is written on the board so let me start now whatever the question is given this is the nth term therefore let me write u sorry un equals to un equals to what is here n factorial into 2 power n by n power so what will be u n plus 1 in place of n we have to write n plus 1 so this will be n plus 1 factorial into 2 power n plus 1 by n plus 1 power n plus 1 let me make a little change here see here in the next step how can we write see here n plus 1 whole factorial can be written as n plus 1 into n factorial n plus 1 whole factorial can be written as n plus 1 into n factorial 2 power n plus 1 can be written as 2 power n into 2 power 1 divided by in the same way let me change this also we can write like this n plus 1 power n into n plus 1 so let me change, cancel this one n plus 1 n plus 1 so what is u n plus 1 u n plus 1 equals to n factorial 2 power n into 2 divided by n plus 1 power n so let me change now let me use the formula of what we have to find we have to find limit n tends to infinity u n plus 1 by u n if it is less than one convergent greater than one divergent equals to one test fails so limit n tends to infinity what is u n plus 1 just now we have written here n factorial 2 power n into 2 divided by n plus 1 power n into we have to write this u n in the denominator if we write this in the numerator it will be change the denominator will become numerator the numerator will become denominator so this will be like this so let me continue now let me first cancel the terms what are the terms we can cancel see here n factorial n factorial 2 power n 2 power n get cancelled now what is left here see here let me write one small step what is left limit n tends to infinity 2 into n power n by n plus 1 power n to make into formula we have to change like this limit n tends to infinity you bring this in the denominator you see both this and these are having same power now we can write like this n plus 1 by n whole power see here n power n you can write in the denominator here now you separate this you will get the formula you see here limit n tends to infinity 2 divided by separate this n by n plus 1 by n whole power this will become 1 get cancelled all once more i am writing the same step limit n tends to infinity 2 divided by 1 plus 1 by n whole power n now we are in the class last say, class we have seen this is the formula limit n tends to infinity 1 plus 1 by n whole power n this is the value of e so this will be 2 by e 2 by e e is approximately equals to now the value of e is we already seen that this value is approximately 2.718 something so denominator is greater than numerator that means this value is less than 1 if denominator is greater than numerator this value will be less than 1 
so less than one means we wrote the formula now it is convergent therefore we have to write therefore limit n tends to infinity u n plus one by u n is less than one implies the series is convergent now see the next question here the series is given first we have to find the nth term I am starting from here because it's easy. We can leave one or two terms because here the x is starting. Here we don't have x x power 0. Let us start from here. This is infinite series. We can leave one or two terms, no problem. So you see here, let me first see the powers of this x. So powers of x, what are these? 2, comma, 4, comma, 6, comma, so on. So first we have to find the nth term for x. See, these are the even numbers. To find its nth term, we have to use the AP formula, A plus N minus 1 into B. What does A mean? A means first term, D equals to 2. And D is the difference, T2 minus T1, T2 minus T1. So what will happen? This one, 4 minus 2 will become 2. So let me substitute this A. A is 2 plus N minus 1 into D is 2. Multiply this 2 into N, 2 N minus 2, minus 2 plus 2 cancel. So for this, we can write nth term as x power n, x power 2n. So this nth term will be 2n. Next thing you see in the denominator, just we no need to write all those steps. Just we can understand. Suppose this is first term, this is second term, this is third term. Therefore, let un can be written as watch carefully. This 5, this is third term, this is 5. Increase by 2, 2, 4, 1, 3. That is the difference is 2 this is 3 this is increased by 2 in the same way if it is n increased by 2 that is n plus 2 into root of this is 3 this is 4 increased by 1 difference is 1 therefore n plus 1 now x power what are the what is the nth term of this even numbers to n so let me consider this as un now let me find un plus 1 un plus 1 so let me find un plus 1. So un plus 1 means in place of n you have to write n plus 1. In place of n you have to write n plus 1 plus 2 under root of n plus 1 plus 1. This is un plus 1. In place of n you have to write n plus 1. You see here, we multiply 2 into n, 2n plus 2 ones are 2. We can write like this, x power 2n plus 2 can be written as like this, into x squared divided by now this will become n plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 and this will become n plus 1 plus 1 plus 2 so next step we have let me find the limit limit n tends to infinity u n plus 1 by u n equals to limit n tends to infinity u n plus 1 we wrote here it is x power 2 n into x squared divided by n plus 3 into under root of n plus 2 into when we write this un in from denominator to numerator it will interchange numerator and denominator so you get n plus 2 here into under root of n plus 1 divided by x plus x power 2n so let first we cancel the terms see here x power 2n x power 2n will get cancelled now whatever is left let me take the common from here see here equals to let limit x tends to infinity we are writing x square as it is. Now if we take n common, it will become 1 plus 2 by n. Now here also take n common, but it is in root, so we say this is in root, no? So root n. It is left with 1 plus 1 by n. If you take n common, 1 plus 1 by n. This is root n, therefore you write root n. In the same way, you take common n here, 1 plus 3 by n. Into here also, if you take root n, it will be 1 plus 2 by n. So let me cancel the terms. You see here, we wrote x square. No, yeah, this n n will get cancelled. Root n root n will get cancelled. If you put infinity, two by infinity is zero, one by infinity is zero. Root one is one. One into one is one. Here also one. Just just be left with x square. Therefore, limit n tends to infinity. U n plus one by U n equals to x square. Now you see here, we don't have any number so that we can say great. It's uh, convergent for less than one, greater than. This is a variable. Therefore, we have to write all the three terms. Because this x is variable, therefore, we have to write all the three conditions. We are not getting a constant number so that we can say lesser than one or greater than one. Therefore, we must denote, therefore, 
for x square less than 1 implies we must write this is as convergent for x square greater than 1 implies divergent now x square equals to 1 implies this will form test fails we are just now written this conditions this is limit value so limit value less than 1 convergent greater than 1 divergent equals to 1 test fail so we have to again find what will be the x expansion series when x square equals to 1 we cannot this test is failed so again we have to find uh, with another method so first let me put in place of un i am putting x square equals in place of in place of un i am writing x square in place of x1 x square means 1 means x square so in place of let you know, let x square equals to 1 in un put let square equals to 1 in un so this will become un 1 so what will be left here you left with un equals to 1 divided by n plus 2 into under root of n plus 1 so let me solve this by using comparison test we have done in the previous method how to suppose the comparison test we have to suppose vn so vn what to suppose vn in the numerator we don't have any n so we take one in the denominator vn should be suppose n plus 2 no just we can take n from the greater degree and from this c root n so this will become 1 by n into n power half if you add the powers this power is 1 1 plus half will be 3 by 2 so we can use here comparison test for x square equals to 1 so first we have to show the limit is not 0 not infinity so let you find limit u n tends to infinity u n by v n limit n tends to infinity u n is this i'm just doing a few steps short to uh, solve this let me take n common here 1 plus 2 by n you take root n common 1 plus under root of 1 by n into if we write in the denominator vn we bring in the numerator to interchange it will be like this n root n by 1 this is vn so let me cancel n n root n root n cancel so if we substitute this is 0 this is 0 1 so in this we can get the value of n that is finite non zero finite non zero so we can say what we can use the comparison test for that first we have to use the p test we have done this question the what is vn equals to 1 by n power 3 by 2 you compare with 1 by n power p therefore p equals to 3 by 2 that is greater than 1 therefore it is convergent therefore sigma space is little i am just writing in short sigma you are in exam you must write therefore by p series test sigma vn is convergent therefore by comparison test sigma un is convergent we know already in the comparison test both will be convergent or both will be divergent so if vn is convergent un is also convergent those who have not seen the previous part must follow that because this is a chain thing the previous part will be used in the next part so we must go accordingly to the parts according to the sequence of the classes so at one we got convergent at one okay, we got convergent so we we got this as convergent so we join this and this for less than one also convergent for equal also convergent therefore last we write like this for therefore x square lesser or equals to one because at one we got convergent implies convergent and for x square greater than one implies divergent Now you see the next question 2 by 1 plus 2 into 5 into 8 by 1 into 5 into 9 plus 1. First, we let me find the nth term. We want the nth term. You see here in the numerator, this consists of one term. Okay, you can leave this one. Let us start from here 3, 3, 4, then 5, 6, like that. Every term, one term will be increased, multiplied, increased, quadrant will be increased. So let me take the nth term, will be like this. Uh, okay first what will be the here 2 comma 5 comma 8 comma so on let you find the nth term of this what is the formula of nth term a plus a means here 2 plus n minus 1 into d is difference 5 minus 2 is 3 so 3 into n 3 n 3 ones are 3 minus 3 plus 2 plus 1 so this is the nth term for numerator and for denominator 1 comma 5 comma 9 comma so on the nth term a plus n minus 1 a is 1 
base 5 minus 1 4 so this will become 4 and minus 4 plus 1 minus 3 so therefore watch carefully un will become un will become like this one term two term three term last three nth term the nth term will be three n plus one this will become the nth term similarly here one into five into nine into thirteen into so on the last one will be four n minus three so this is un plus one so what will be un plus so un this is un now un plus one means till here we are having terms the next term will be in place of n n plus one because everywhere one term is increased now so next term means from here to here you write as it is this is 3 n plus 1 so the next term will be in place of n n plus 1 in place of n n plus 1 so this is 1 into 5 into 9 into 13 so on this is the term the next term will be 4 into in place of n n plus 1 minus 3 let me do one step let you multiply 3 into n 3 and 3 ones are 3 3 plus 1 4 so just we write one step we will use this will be 3 n plus 4 in the same way 4 into n 4 and 4 ones are 4 4 minus 3 1 so this will become 4 n plus 1 so we have to find the limits now now watch carefully therefore we have to find the limit n tends to infinity un plus 1 by un un plus 1 by un so equals to limit n tends to infinity un plus 1 we are having this 2 into 5 into 8 into so on 3n plus 1 3n plus 4 divided by 1 into 5 into 9 into 13 so on 4n minus 3 into 4n plus 1 into if we write in you in the numerator we have to interchange the numerator and denominator so this can be done in the this reciprocal way 1 5 9 this is un 13 so on 4n minus 3 divided by this 2 5 8 so on 3n plus 1 now let me do the cancellations watch carefully the similar terms you see up to 3n plus 3n plus 1 3n plus 1 so up to 3n plus 1 you get cancel here in the same way up to 4n minus 3 you get cancel here now what is left here limit n tends to infinity limit n tends to infinity 3n plus 4 divided by 3n plus 1 3n plus i think sorry what is here 4n plus 1 so let me take common limit n tends to infinity if you take n common you left with 3 plus 4 by n you take n common 4 plus 1 by n so n n cats cancel now if you substitute the limit it will become this is infinity 0 0 so this is 3 by 4 3 by 4 is nothing but 0 0.75 that is less than 1 therefore limit n tends to infinity un plus 1 by un is less than 1 that means the series is convergent therefore according to writing exam complete according to dlm birds ratio test dlm birds ratio test the series is convergent the series is convergent in the previous questions also i forget to write you write according therefore in last you write in previous questions also in last you write therefore according to dlm birds ratio test the series is either convergent or divergent whatever now see the next question the sigma is given that means this is the nth term what is nth term here n cube plus a by 2 power n plus a let me find u n plus 1 so in place of u n plus 1 we have to write in place of n n plus 1 in place of n we have to write n plus 1 so 2 power n plus 1 can be written as 2 power n into 2 power 1 let me take now let me find the limits what we have to find limit n tends to infinity un plus 1 by un equals to let me substitute the value what is the value here limit n tends to infinity limit n tends to infinity un plus 1 is n plus 1 q plus e divided by 2 power n into 2 plus e this is un plus 1 if you write even in the numerator it will be denominator by numerator 
this will be n cube plus a. Now watch carefully how to take the common here. Limit n tends to infinity. You take common n cube from here. Watch carefully. If you take n common here, it will be 1 plus 1 by n. Because we are having cube, we have to write cube also, cube also. If you take common here also, it will become a plus by n cube into you take 2 power n common here it will become 1 plus a by 2 power n here also you take n power common sorry if you take what you can take here common 2 power n so what is left here 2 plus a by 2 power n here you take n cube common what is left here 1 plus a by n now this will get cancelled n 2 power n 2 power n cube n cube can cancel now if you substitute the values you see watch carefully what is left here see 1 by infinity is 0 1 cube is 1 so 1 is left here 1 by a by infinity is 0 this is 0 a by 2 power infinity is infinity any number by infinity is 0 so we do 1 divide by 2 into 1 is 2 that is 1 by 2 1 by 2 is nothing but less than 1 less than 1 therefore limit n tends to infinity un plus 1 by un is less than 1 implies according to d Lambert's ratio test d Lambert's ratio test the series is convergent series is i am writing in short convergent so we have done few questions inshallah but that we give one more class for d Lambert's ratio test Inshallah, we are going to continue in the next class.